Hey guys, it's Val here and welcome to Vlogmas Day 6. I know right now it is Vlogmas Day 5, but I'm going to combine these two to make like a mini vlog for tomorrow given the fact that tomorrow's Sunday and on Sundays is my more pampered days and relax. I don't really do much, so you guys will see that. Um, so yeah, because I am just, you know, ready to go out, I just wanted to share with you guys what I do on a daily basis. Um, I don't really shop a lot, but I do, when I do decide to splurge a little bit and spoil myself, I do go into my closet after purchasing something and just post it on my Poshmark. I do have a Poshmark, Threadflip, every freaking site that you can imagine and it's always linked down below so if you ever want to shop my closet most of the time these clothes are brand new um and i just never like had the opportunity to wear it or after a while i just didn't see myself in that my style does change a lot so anyways let's just get into everything so here is my double rack where I have basically new items and jackets. And there's some items here, like these three right here, I think I'm going to post up. This is already on my Poshmark. It's just a nice um, white and blue top from Zara. Then I have this beautiful Rails top. It's gray and black. It has like leather detail on the collar. It's a size medium. I liked the oversized fit. But it's definitely not my style anymore. It's too sheer and see-through. And I'm thinking about just selling that. As well as this top by the brand Kenzie. It's beautiful. It's a size medium. I'm an extra small. But I thought it might just be a cute like oversized shirt. And it's way too oversized for my liking. But the beautiful detail on this is amazing. I have tons of rails tops as you can see here i am keeping them i just ordered another one off of threadup.com and i really like it keeping these things i do have some scarves up on um poshmark as well now i'm going to show you my other closet so here's my main closet with like all of my older clothing and i still obviously wear most of these things um, but I have a lot of long sleeves. This is my issue. Why, like, in the winter, I'm set. But when, in the summer, I'm always looking for new shirts because I hardly wear, um, sleeveless and short sleeves. Like, all my little short sleeve tops are up here and tank tops. But right here is just, like, blouses and all that. I think I'm going to get rid of this one. I'm not too sure. I've worn this probably twice. It's by the brand Lipsy London. And I I don't know. I used to like it. But I think I just wanted something from London. That's why. I'll just leave that there. Down here I have a ton of jeans. Most are like these burgundy ones I've never worn. Nor those um green ones that I got from H&M there's just so many and then all of these shoe boxes are full of like sneakers and shoes that I have to look through and get rid of or just put the boots out on my shoe shelf it's literally crazy so this is my current shoe situation I have to switch out all of these flats into boots I've pretty much done that mainly up here but down here is a hot mess so I apologize have no idea what half of these things are but i wanted to quickly go through what i'm going to get rid of which are quickly get rid of which are these just kate spade ballet flats i've never worn them i think they were more of an impulse buy than anything and i'm just gonna get rid of them on my poshmark as well so i do have i think three pairs of shoes already up so these will be joining them i went to deals and i got some cute little things for my candles for my friends if you're watching you're going to be getting this well two people i'm not sure they didn't have any more um but i thought this was so cute i'm not gonna show you what's inside because it's a little surprise um so i got gifts there and i also got my friend this cute bag and some mug of mickey mouse with some stuff i also got my dad some pjs and i got myself some like gray thing from this site called the wish and it's like all over facebook that i saw this outfit and i just had to get it 
currently in the process of getting ready to do the candles. So this is the little dish. It's so cute. Then I have the wicks right here. I have the glue gun on the floor. I'm not going to show you. I'm actually watching a Lifetime Christmas movie right now. I'm really excited in the festive moods. So it's Sunday now. Um, I just actually woke up because my mother came in and threw this huge Target package. Now, later on in the video, I'll talk about the whole drama of shipping or whatever. But this is like a part two to what I already had um, ordered. And I got the other package the other day. But like I said, I'll save stuff later. And I didn't even know they deliver on Sundays. Um, I don't know if it's just because of the holidays and they want to get everybody their stuff. Um, but yeah, I'm excited to finally have this because it was something for me and also a gift in there. So it's later on from when I got the package that you just seen previously. But um, I'm just laying down and relaxing in bed just because it's Sunday and Sundays are my like kind of relaxed days. Unless I have to actually go somewhere, um, but most of the time I don't, so it's more of like the day, like I pamper myself, starting from like 5 o'clock, I go, you know, take a nice hot shower, and etc, etc about my day. But anyways, um, maybe I'll show you guys what I use to pamper myself later, but I just wanted to address more of the Target issue, um, also Zara issue, and a Sephora issue. Now, with Target, I ordered um, a few things, like gifts, and one thing for me, and the rest were gifts, since they were having their early Black Friday deals. So, I just, I decided, instead of going to Target, why don't I just, like, pick up a few things online. Everything was free shipping, everything was perfect. I did all of that, and they had told me in advance that it would be two separate orders, which I was totally fine with. It said it would come during the week, and... Okay, then then after that, the package that they said would be delayed was the one that I got first. Then the one that I really needed, I had no information on it. They didn't email me that it was like back ordered or whatever the case may be. It said it was like preparing for the longest time. Then... I have no idea, like, I don't, then yesterday, finally, I got the email saying that I would get it by the 11th instead of 15th. Today, I wake up on a Sunday, and I have the package. That, like, I don't know if it's a, maybe a holiday that they're working extra hard and actually shipping things on Sundays, but I don't know. Um, but I finally got that order. Now, as for Zara, I ordered twice on Friday. On Black Friday, they were having free shipping and 30% off, which was a great deal. I had never ordered from Zara before, so I didn't know what to expect. Um, the first package I got, I had got the email confirmation that it was shipped, and but no tracking. I contacted them. They, I contacted them about another package that I ordered that same day, later on that day, and. They ignored that, but then gave me my tracking for the other one when I never put that order number in. Then I had to reach out on Twitter and then finally got all of that sorted out and then personally got an email yesterday saying that my order is finally shipped. All that for a freaking t-shirt that I paid $5 in free shipping for. It was so ridiculous. So I want to show you guys what I use to pamper myself. I use this Lush Ocean Salt um, face and body scrub. I just use a little bit of this. A little bit goes a long way. And I just use this for my, you know, my face, my body or whatever. And then it's weird. A lot of people ask me, why do you have sea salt? I have sea salt because I mix it with water into this little spray bottle just to get rid of um like acne scarring stuff like that but now i haven't used it ever since i've been introduced to this mario badescu um little whitening mask and honestly i might have to do a video on this because it's actually been working i have a few acne scars that i got more so recently and um they're fading away which i'm freaking excited about 
So this is a sample size, which is pretty damn big. Um, and I got it off of eBay because I didn't want to just bite the bullet and pay 20 something for a full size if I didn't like it. I have my Dr. George gentle, gentle Whitening stuff that I always whiten my teeth with. And then my eyebrow thing, but I haven't used that in a hot minute. Then I tend to do my nails after all of that stuff after I straighten my hair after after I wash and straighten my hair and then I just come over to this bucket here and I just go crazy looking for polish 